all right welcome back now this is gonna get fun now we've got a kubernetes cluster connected with our kubia now i'm pretty excited to operate to manage my kubernetes cluster using kubia how do you do that let's suppose first you start very basic list all the namespaces in my kubernetes cluster all right by the way just to show you i've already list all the namespaces so these are the seven namespaces i've got so what's gonna happen is now kubi are gonna ask which tunnel do you want so we created two tunnels right remember one is the manually created and using the slack as well so i'm gonna click maybe you could choose any one okay so now what's gonna happen is kubia is gonna go back to that kubernetes cluster and list all of these namespaces in front of us but it's the output is gonna be a little better than this one so you get all sort of information as you can see the default namespace you've got the labels as well you've got the node name as well you've got all the other namespaces as well we've got cube system we've got kubia we've got openfast we've got when it was created what are the annotation uh, and uh, what are the other labels as well now i want to list probably would you list all the deployments in a specific namespace in the namespace let's suppose which namespace do you want let's suppose we want to use open fast so i want to see what are the deployments i have in the namespace open fast all right it is reading the kubernetes to find what we need all right the operation has been successful and as you can see it has successful been able to list all the deployment names under the namespace open fast so we've got one deployment name as alert manager we have got the federated gateway and whatnot now i want to list all the services as well but not in one namespace but all the namespace in my kubernetes cluster list all the services in all the kuber in all the namespaces all right so it's going to go back and look all of these namespaces which we have created and list all of the services for us so right the operation has been successful and it has got all the services you've got services prometheus from openfast you've got nat services from openfast you've got bunch of other services from other namespaces like default namespace and openfast as well isn't it too cool now even if you're not a devops engineer even if you're just a product manager or you are a skilled business analyst or a product owner you could still use kubia and still work on kubernetes just like a pro like a devops engineer i hope this was super informative i'll see you in the next one thank you